Hello and welcome. We are here again for this vibrational upgrade and also for the Dragon Light Language Sound Bridge. And today we're talking about the time from the 17th of November into the 24th. So yes, it gets more exciting. And if you were a little bit tired after the full moon on the 15th, then that is no surprise. We are surely connecting much, much more to these energies that are available and we are learning how to match our vibration. So as you are possibly aware, it is very important at this time that we keep our vibration high and not only keeping it high, but actually matching and attuning it to the frequencies that are out there. So it becomes more interesting. Our vibration is not just the positive thinking and the gratitude and all of that. It is actually really being in that vibration while being honest to all of the emotional things that are still coming up for us. So in other words, we are all not there yet. And it's okay. We have been going very fast, especially for the last 12 years, as you are very aware. So today, we really want to talk about the 19th. So this is on Tuesday. And of course, we already have a little bit of this energy. Pluto goes into Aquarius for 20 years. So this is not just a little piece of thing. This is a big thing. And of course, Pluto is a little bit of the rebel. And Aquarius is the maverick that takes us into that new time. The collective self, the sovereignty, the interconnectedness, the interdependence. And it's a lot actually about freedom, but in a collective way. So it's not about that you can hide some, somewhere as a hermit and live the perfect life. No, it is really us together at this time. It's a really collective journey. And on that journey, we are learning how to connect to the cosmic consciousness, the cosmic heart, but at the same time to earth. So in many shamanic traditions and many other mystic traditions, it was always about the earth and the sky and us in between. And more than ever, we are learning how to bring it all in and embody it in our heart. The mind is not redundant, so don't worry, your mind is fine, but what is happening in this energy is only possible through the heart. Yes, there is science behind it. The heart is actually capable of taking that vibration and that energy. The mind is actually not. So for many of us in our meditations, very naturally, you will find that you actually your mind falls into your heart. That what used to be a big practice of meditation in Advaita and all of that, but you will find the more you surrender. Now, surrender is a very funny word. I don't like it so much because surrender also means giving up, but this surrender is not giving up. The meaning of surrender here is more letting go. Letting go, even if we don't understand it logically, rationally, linear, mentally, whatever we want to call it. And so in this week, it's really, really important that we make that connection in the heart. We make that connection to Pluto and we start really getting into Aquarius. If your sign is an Aquarian, you might find it easier, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're naturally somebody who knows how to live in the Aquarian age. So that new self that is literally in a metamorphosis, I want to say, and I love the dragonfly as a metamorphosis because it really works in that way. We are kind of hanging on the tree and we are at that point of truly coming out and becoming a dragonfly, an Aquarian dragonfly, obviously. And so we still don't know 
yes, we will see differently. We will fly differently. And most of all, we will learn how to use power in a different way. So the misuse of power is going to be over. It doesn't mean that power is bad because your inner power is actually very important as you can imagine. And so for us to find now that new power to be together on this collective journey and that multidimensional consciousness as it's unfolding is really, really crucial. So today I am taking our light language into the realms of the dragons. My light language in general may have been often dragon light language and sound, obviously, but it becomes much, much clearer now. So today, this light language bridge of the dragons is from the Aquarian dragons. And this bridge takes us into the vibration of the Aquarian maverick. This is not defined, this is not written in stone. This is really you allowing yourself. And this, this is this kind of surrender, not giving up, not giving in, but really allowing yourself to embrace this Aquarian Maverick that we are all becoming collectively. So let's see what the Aquarian dragons give us here in this light language and the sound bridge to attune us to the vibration of the Aquarian Maverick and this new collective consciousness, interconnectedness, interdependency, sovereignty, um, and a potential that we are still learning to understand. La da rum dum 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 Aklorae mulun maramun numun numun arshindaria mero mera me mera me mera me mera me mera me mera me ro ashra mungari hira mera ronga re kira mera chokale he la le la lo kana mera ronda re shindare denda re klalu re re brundu re ndari kia mero tari me tari me tari ma chua kara chua kara chua kara tere mare nundar ki anara tere mare rula la kya ya chan namara ko nara ki mara kura kar ke shanta kya antara rendare mukoya anayo anayo ho 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 narama kosha narama kostya plakyo so just bring that in let that be Yes, this is very intense and this is new for all of us. And you may want to listen it, to it for a couple of times to really appreciate and enjoy it. In these vibration upgrades, I don't take you particularly into a meditative state for the light language. And this is simply because we are always in sacred space. I only go with you in sacred space so you don't need to worry it's it's perfectly all right however let me know how you're going and what your experiences are in the comments and of course i love your subscription and i love your like and of course i appreciate all those who are here all the time ready to enjoy these vibrations and to vibe up ourselves so much love from my heart to yours.